Linux distributions don't matter. All right, boys, how many times have we heard this line recently? It seems to be the latest thing is to say that distributions don't matter. And I think I think there's there's more to it than that. So the common thing that seems to be going around at the moment is that Linux distributions either matter or they don't matter. People have released videos like saying, Linux distributions don't matter. Um, why you can just change the desktop and suddenly uh, all distros are interchangeable. I think it's not either they matter or they don't. I think obviously it's somewhere in between, right? There are real differences between the different Linux distributions. Otherwise, why even have distributions in the first place, right? If all distros are the same and they're completely interchangeable, why would you even bother having different distributions in the first place? So we're going to get into that perspectives on this change uh, from the advanced user to the new user, in my opinion. By the way, you can hear someone using a tool in the in the background. I'm sorry for that. I'm in Australia. It's a Sunday afternoon. People are going to be doing yard work. People are going to be people are going to be out and about doing doing whatever. So if you can hear tools in the background, I apologize. So distribution differences, installation, configuration, package manager, and the software update cycle. I mean, come on, guys. You can't say distributions are all interchangeable when there are this many things that are different. So just as an, as an example, I maintain a bunch of different systems on my home network. They all do different things. I think about distributions as tools for the job, right? So different distributions will be su suited to different use cases, all right? So I've got a home theater computer that I run. It just sits under the TV and for anybody in my family, when they want to watch a movie or a video or anything like that, or like stream definitely legal content uh, from the internet onto the TV, that machine is what gets used, all right? It was previously, up until recently, running Manjaro, uh, which is a rolling release distribution based on Arch. It's supposed to be Arch, but a bit more stable, but um, I don't know. I don't think I don't think very highly of Manjaro anymore, but that's a separate separate topic for another video. Um, thing is, one day somebody came to me and they said, "Why is there a little notification down in the corner saying there are 687 available updates?" <laughs> so, and I'm thinking, uh, "Yeah, I should probably take care of that." So, that computer in there, it doesn't get used very often. It only gets used when someone wants to stream something, right? So. Having it running a rolling release distribution, tried it out, probably not the best idea, right? It, it's, it's the amount of time that it gets used does not justify how often I would have to perform maintenance on that machine. So at the moment, it's running Fedora 30, 34 or 35, um, which is a lot. It's a, it still gets updates pretty frequent. Fedora is like that, but it's a lot, lot more manageable for the amount of use that machine gets than a full rolling release distribution. Another thing I want to touch on, out of the box configuration. So I've done my fair share of distro hopping. Everybody who gets to an intermediate level in Linux does go ahead and do some distro hopping. Um, I tried out OpenSUSE on my desktop machine, Tumbleweed. Very, I, I mean, I liked it. It was great. It was great. One of the things I really appreciated is that in KDE, if you don't want to use the absolute meme, and let's be honest, it is, it's what, 2022 and the GTK file picker still doesn't have thumbnails. Come on, guys, what are we, what are we doing? So if you want to use the KDE Plasma thumb, uh, the KDE Plasma file picker, which has thumbnails on most desktop distributions, you need to set in slash Etsy slash environment, GTK use portal one. Um, and if you're on Wayland and you want to use Firefox as a native Wayland application, you got to set moz enable Wayland equals one. On OpenSUSE, I did not have to do that at all. So if I was a new user just coming to Linux and I had to go and set some random ass environment variables, that's not really a good experience for me. As an advanced user, and like I said, perspective changes based on where you're at. As an advanced user, I don't mind. I'm happy to go set uh, environment variables because I mean, I set, I have my own custom ones that I set anyway. But a new user, like, what, grandma, grandma is going to go and set environment variables in Etsy profile so she can get thumbnails in her file picker. Come on. It's 2022. We shouldn't have to be doing this. 
on the topic of manageable updates, so if you are setting up a computer for somebody who doesn't want to do a lot of maintenance on it, just saying that distributions don't matter, I think is pretty silly. Because as just as a previous example, I mean, uh, I would probably, even with that machine, the home theater computer, not seeing as much use as any of the other computers, I would probably still perform maintenance on that more often than a lot of people would perform maintenance on their machine that they use all the time. So my grandparents are on Linux Mint at the moment because Linux Mint, I've found, has just been... It's, it's like, it's ju it just works, guys. Come on. It just works. Um, and a, most of the stuff, if not all, can be done graphically. Cinnamon is really good. I love it. Um, I'm, a, I'm a KDE guy myself, but for anyone that needs something that just works, Linux Mint is, is fantastic. And yeah, what? I'm going to tell grandma that she's going to go set environment variables and update every three days. And if something breaks, what? She's going to call me and then I'll have to deal with that. No, it's, it's just a lot more manageable. You think about a distribution as a tool for a job and different distributions are good at different things and they're meant for different things. And yeah, saying you can just change the desktop, I think is a bit silly because what? Yeah, dude, you're going to go tell a new user. Come on, boys. We all know you can't go tell a new user. Oh, yeah, dude, uh, distributions don't matter. If you want to change your desktop, all you got to do is um, switch to a TTY, kill your Xorg session, uninstall all of the packages for your graphical interface, look up the package list for the desktop you want to install, and then install that. Come on, fellas, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. So it's, it'd probably be easier for a new user to just download an ISO of the distro with the desktop that they want and use the graphical installer to just wipe their system and reinstall. That would probably be easier for a new user to understand. Um, so yeah, no, absolutely, distributions do matter. Last thing I want to talk about with regards to this is the fully free software distributions. So if you're a free software, I don't want to say extremist, but if you hold the ideals of free software very dearly, and just to preface, I'm not using a free software distribution. I, th I love free software, but in my own personal work and um, study life, I do need to use proprietary apps. So I'm not using a free software distribution. But if you are, saying that distributions don't matter is very silly because if you're somebody who cares very much about free software and you want to use a free software only distribution, saying that distros don't matter is a bit, is a bit, um, a bit, tone deaf, in my opinion, because not all distributions care the same amount about free software. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I mean, I think distributions matter. I think they're tools for jobs and that different tools are suited for different jobs. And I think that just saying distributions don't matter and just throwing it out there as a video is a little bit silly and it doesn't really account for real people and real life. And if you take a step back from your advanced user mindset of I'm happy to just reinstall my desktop, I'm happy to configure environment variables, and you start to notice, okay, no, there, there are some differences, especially if you're not comfortable with configuring a Linux system. So yeah, that's it for me. Cheers, boys.